Yes, thank you, Jeff. I'm, I'm with a, a fair to say a happy Daryl Clark after not just the result but the performance today, Daryl. Yeah, no, it was, a, it was a good solid win. I thought Cambridge played the part in that, to be honest. I thought it was a real entertaining game of football. Uh, fair play to Cambridge, they came and had a right go. Pretty end to end, especially first half. Uh, a couple of the difference between the teams was a couple of clinical finishes in the first half. I thought we just defended better as a team second half and uh, shored it up a little bit. And we always look a look to threat on the counter attack. So it was, a, it was an entertaining game in a in front of a massive crowd. You never relax in football, but to be two 0 up after 20 minutes that gave you a good foundation. No, didn't no, it? no. Well, listen, yeah, it's always pleasing, but it was not relaxed because of the the way the game was actually panning out to be. It was, it was end to end. Uh, for me, they, they got too much joy, too much space. They had too much of the ball for me first half, and albeit. Obviously, pleased when we're scoring goals, but uh, we've got to be a little bit more solid than we were first off, because the game can swing either ways. And it's another fantastic save from Milden all at two nil. Uh, how he keeps the ball out of the net, I'll never know. Slack from us by marking at the back. So we've got to improve on our defending for me. Mildy's, Mildy's uh, rescued us there. So two one changes the balance and the swing of the play. So like I say, fair play to Cambridge. I thought uh, they come and had a right good go. Uh, obviously delighted with my players as well. I thought some of our forward thinking play was 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 very good. When you analyse the game, is it a 50-50 balance between the positives and the negatives? Uh, it's in the positives, are we? Clinical. We look dangerous every time we're going forward. We look bright. Uh, it's just disappointing for me. First half, we could have we could have done a lot of things a lot better than what we did. But that's you see, you know, I'm. I'm I'm nitpicking to a certain extent, but we want to keep improving. We've got to keep on proving. You know, eight games to go, but testament to my players: six wins on the spins, fa absolutely fantastic. And uh, we move on to the next one. Talk about Billy Bowden then, man of the match, two goals. Um, he's having quite a season, isn't he? Came here yeah. on a trial initially, and um, okay, well, very much part of the furniture uh, now. That's what I'm talking about. The groups, the, the groups together, and you know, Bowden's uh, come a couple of goals. I think that's eight for the season now. Never mind his assists as well, so outstanding finishes, clinical, great ball by Leddy for the second goal and uh, great composure by, by Mike Taylor for the third, so there was really well worked goals from my point of view and you know, their keepers made some good saves but so is my keeper, so uh, really pleased uh, of the outcome. And I was looking forward to seeing Christian Montano in the flesh. It's been a few weeks since he's broke into the team, and I thought defensively he worked as hard as he did attacking-wise. Outstanding, attacking outstanding, Monty. Uh, and for me, that's why we build a squad and not a team, and we keep it all in in house together. I've been promising Monty all the way through the season that I get his opportunity, get his opportunity. And uh, the last three games, he's been magnificent. Sometimes he has to come out of the team for the change of shape because he is my natural. Uh, winger that, that, that I've got and sometimes we change the shape for different reasons there's no square holes and round pegs it depends what game is he accepts that and like I say when I, when I played my 4-4-2 he's been outstanding and is it relief as well as unhappiness at the end there's no horrible injuries I mean Billy Bowden went down we feel as football a... you know it's, it's one of those injuries are part and parcel of the game and, and for me uh, yesterday before the deadline, well previously for the deadline, is, is, is not much business happened because there's a reason. Because players, managers don't want to let the players go, the experienced players. And I've, and I've, I've weighed it all up and, then, and like I said yesterday, I've got under 21 boys, Jay Malpass, Ryan Broom, Alfie Kilgore, I've got Danny Greenslade on a 24-hour callback, I've got Jamie Lucas on a 24-hour callback, so I've got my own good potential young players. So I use my own youngsters rather than the 1,000, 1 million under 21 players I get chucked at because these boys want to earn a future here. So that's why I've stuck with what I've got. And they, they, don't get me wrong, I would have took the right experience play uh, to strengthen in a certain area, but it weren't meant to be. So uh, I put massive faith in the players I've got. And with now eight games to go, was it a case of job done today? It is, it always is. Let's move on to the next one. We're in training tomorrow. We'll, we'll dust ourselves down, training weekend, and then we'll, we'll travel up to Carlisle on the, on the Sunday. Do a little bit of light work on the way up there. And we move on. Brilliant. And a word on Carlisle, who I think drew with Yeovil today. Um, what kind of test will they provide on Monday for you and the players? Listen, I ain't going to tell you lot or well, Carlisle. I think Carlisle will play, so it'll be it'll be a tough test. Like they're all are. They're all tough games. You look at the results every week. The tough games. There's no gimmies. They're all tight games. So we we go up there obviously with confidence, but uh, it's a tough Easter period. Pleasing thing for me is we started it with three points. And was the pleasing thing as well the um, the crowd as well. So oh, crowd. fantastic, brilliant! Look at it, that you can see how, how much they're behind the boys and having a right go. But they're watching entertaining football now. I don't think many of the fans wouldn't have enjoyed that sort of game. They got bored to death three years ago with the football we were playing. We play attacking football on the front foot football, and they always said that you know. If, 
to give me an opportunity when I first took over two years ago that just give us an opportunity to, to stamp our authority how I want to play the game and we, we're starting to see good pieces of that coming coming together and, and attacking football that's what they pay the hard earned money to come and see even if it is a bit end to end for the manager at times Just finally Darrell was it only two years ago you were appointed manager two years. two years no, fantastic I enjoy every minute like I keep saying I'm, I'm so proud to manage this football club and this set of supporters uh, they, they deserve success so we'll keep working hard myself and the players to try and deliver that